Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, uh, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Go Retings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and welcome to, I believe this is the 6th, maybe 7th, I'm already losing track. Welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. Today I'm joined by my lovely girlfriend Jubilee. We're recording in the evening, meaning she is home from work. Um, and, you know, didn't, I didn't want her to be sitting by herself, so I was like, hey, you want to be in the episode <clears> with me? And she said, sure. She is playing a copy of Ultra Moon that... Both of these products were sent to me by Nintendo. Gotta say that every time. I'm gonna continue to do so for the rest of this series. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you missed the last episode, don't forget to go check it out. And also, be sure to leave a like on the video here and join the series. But we are going to... The thing does not stretch. I need to get a little bit closer to the desk. I'm sorry if I shove you a bit. But let's exit Verdant Cavern. Nice. Sorry. I apologize. I forgive you for your, your burping. <laughs> Alright. Greetings, Captain Ilama here. I know who you are, dude. We've had so many conversations. Yeah. <laughs> it's barricades. Okay, we know about this. We know what the barricades are. They hold the power. What was that? was fabulous. <laughs> hey, you get open the barrier. <laughs> Way to go, Ilama. I'm proud of you, buddy. Voila! Your world just got a little bigger. Thanks, man. I'm the only captain here on Melee Melee Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you've cleared the trial, please inform our island kahuna, Hala Acho Girl. Ah! Kukui! What up? Bros! <laughs> Bros! Hey there, Michael. Ooh, looking at the expression on Inuma's face, I'd say you cleared your first trial, yeah? Yes, I better give you a little reward. Time to learn- Ah, great. More tutorials. Okay, we're gonna button mash through this, guys. We all know how to use Z-moves. True. It's been a year! How's your game going? No spoilers. But, uh, just how's it going? I'm just, um, I beat this trial already, as you have. And I am currently, uh, just got past the meadow. Just walked past the meadow. Nice. So Jubilee's so, a little bit ahead of me. That's where I currently She am. started playing, she didn't get to play today because she was working, but she got to play... Last, last night, night, which I did not, because I was finishing up recording silver stuff. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is this the right way? Probably. You tend to go the wrong way in places. Especially in video no, games. That's right. That's right Guess we're gonna watch Angry Rock Refuse Breaking it Blitz against this... Uh... Oh, the text is different. Well, that's something. I'm running so fast. Super speed, boom! Smack into you, growl with one shot KO, you done. Dun 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 Alright, one Z move per team, makes sense. Kakui's language has changed a lot to be referencing a lot of Pokemon. It was like, I found Amnesia, like with a capital A. Was it like that in Sun and Moon, or am I just like... I feel like it wasn't like that. I feel like really? that's a new... This movement. cheek is way bigger than this cheek. Thank you, Jubilee, for that valuable information. Okay, let's see what the flying Pokemon here are. Spiro like last time, okay. No Kiero. Don't need a Spiro. Don't really want a Spiro. I just used Kenya, Savinia, and I don't need another. <laughs> what secrets await us? Let's see what's in the grass here. What is. What's over here? An item. Alright, well, let's see what Pokemon's here first. Cutie Fly? See, part of me is like, oh, Cutie Fly would be a solid Pokemon, but also part of me is like, I really want to use an Alolan Ninetales. <laughs> both being fairy types, therefore, not really, doesn't really make sense to use both. 
What's this item? A heal ball? Okay, I have two of those now. Alright. Wouldn't that be stupid if heal balls, like, every turn healed the Pokemon? You know what I mean? Like, if you throw it and it breaks out, and when it breaks out it's fully healed, that'd be, like, so stupid. <laughs> That seems like, some, like, if Heal Balls existed in Gen 1, I feel like that's something they would do in Gen 1. I want to see what else is here. I've only seen Spiro and uh, Cutie Fly. I feel like there's more. Nope, just Cutie Fly. I don't know if there is. Is there more? I mean, you would know. You've played through. <laughs> would I? Or further. Would you? <laughs> Would I know? What if I just blow, blazed through there and never stuck, stuck around? There are a lot of bugs attacking me right now. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? No, because he's not cooking anything right now. He needs to leave. I need more team members. <laughs> so I'm like... I feel like I need to, like, take the time to find out what all's here, and I'm only finding bugs! <laughs> it actually is odd. What type is Rabombi again? Bug Fairy. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. Can you believe this? Literally only cutie flies. <laughs> My patience is growing thin. What does Stardust do? Stardust? You sell it mm. for quite a bit of money. That's sad. Why? My most precious pr prized item of my entire life that I got as a small child goes to the nearest Pokemart. <laughs> Sells it for lots of money. Oh my god. Why is she giving it to some stranger? Because I told her about her brother. Wasn't this in that first game too? I feel like I recognize this. I don't know. I've literally only seen Cutie Fly. This is absurd. I know there's more things here. There's no way there's only Cutie Fly and Spiro here. But all I've seen is Cutie Fly. Just keep working towards it. Come on, give me some more exciting. I can't even Do they have like a. Is it. Is it because it's nighttime? Do they have like a 90% encounter rate at night? Is that what's going on here? Is that why this is so stupidly ridiculous? Or is, am I just getting extremely bad luck? That's actually a good question. Because it was daytime in my game when I was there. <gasps> nice! Hello, Archer! Viva! <laughs> oh, I'm definitely using one of these. I've always wanted to use a halucha. As have I. As have I. Alright, now it's a roost. Paralyza day. I need a... Uh, is there nobody, like, right outside where you battle Hala that, like, can heal your Pokemon? I don't know. That's the problem I'm that's currently crit, dealing that's with. Let me see if I can catch him at this level. Um, should I use a nest ball? I might as well use a nest ball. I mean, it's more likely to work. And, you know, nest balls are better at this point in the game. There's, like, nowhere to heal my Pokemon. Like, literally. Okay, we'll just, we'll just run back down the road to your mom's house. There's no grass on the road. Yes, there is. No, you're going the wrong way. There's another road where there's no grass. Hello, cha! All right, we caught the Halucha. Please have an okay nature. <laughs> Doesn't have to be the best nature, but I need it to not suck. Yeah. Like, don't lower physical attack, I think. So cool. Are you sure? There's this road. You're horrible at directions, Jubilee. This one? Where, what, where are you? Uh, yes. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, okay, I see. It's this one. It's just there's that one little patch of grass that they added. Okay, there's no grass on that in Sun and Moon, okay? Forgive me. I'm trying to help Forgive you. Forgive me for being all like, you're going the wrong way when I was going the right way. Yeah, 
It's true. You want to be in the video? <laughs> It overwhelms opponents with quick yes. moves, but sometimes it showboats for too long when it's using a special move and gets itself in a pinch. That's funny. That's what it does in the show. Yeah. All right, we are going to name it Nacho. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're not going to give it that many O's. We're going to give it one O. Okay. Please have an okay nature. Please, pretty please. I need to try and get back to the Pokemon Center. Raises speed, lowers defense. Okay, that's I can accept that. Unburden. Just boost the speed so if the Pokemon's held item is used or lost. This is gonna be a fast birdie. All right, let's run back to the Pokemon Center. I'm gonna try and dodge that trainer that's right here and heal up. Oh crap! <laughs> that's fine. We'll just we'll beat him with Torcat, <laughs> and then we'll we'll start training up Paluch. Huh? Nacho! Mine is named Diego. 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 Oh, you have one too. Mm -hmm. I've uh, avoided looking at a solid chunk of Jubilee's game because she's a bit ahead of me, and I do not want the spoilers. I've got all the spoiler knowledge of the next ten seconds of this game because you're right behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Psyduck's water gun comes out of its nostrils. All right. Boom. Currently, my team is, uh, well, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Noibat on my team, but I'm currently using a Noibat. What is Noibat's other typing? Dragon, dragon, dragon. flying. That's what, it, that's what it is. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I really like the Pokemon, but it doesn't really make sense on my team. Just because it evolves at such a high level. And it's also a flying type. Oh, and you, yeah, you have a Lucha, duh. Well, if you exclude Noibat, so far you and my, me have the exact same team. Because yeah, she started with Linton, too. Well, I also, I had an Inke. That would have been silly, though. It's what, what is Inke's type? Psychic? Oh, Dark yeah, because then I got an Abra, but then I decided the Abra had a bad nature. So. Oh, yeah, the Abra did a, It had a jolly nature, which is really bad for an Abra. Yeah, so. Okay. Um, let's put our new team member in front, and I'm gonna move the Quick Claw from, there we go. That was weird, but it worked. Given the Quick Claw, oh, I can teach you Brick Break, that's right, I forgot about that. Yes. Inke did help me out a lot, though. After hearing about your experience with that Pop Leo, I was glad I caught that Inke, because I would have been screwed. Yeah, that Poplio sucked. <laughs> I was only able to beat it because I had Inke. So, you know, it served its purpose. Yeah, that was... that was rough. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on the route of the burbs. Toward the meadow! It will be very exciting. Uh, oh. oh, this is up a hill now. This wasn't up a hill before. Ah, oh, nuts. Well, considering these are flying types, I should probably run from it. It's not telling I'm you what's super type. effective and what's not. It only does that after you've seen the Pokemon for the first time. Oh, okay. If that's the first time seeing a Pokemon, it won't tell you that. I gotcha. But... I forgot about that. I knew, though. I knew what to use. It's fine. Good, I'm glad. A lot of times you don't. <laughs> oh, a Sharp Beak! Oh, that's actually better. It's actually better for... Halucha. Held item. That's what I need it. Oh, I just have to. I, held item. Move. Tap you. Okay. Held item. Give. Shark beak. All right, now my wing attack is more powerful. Remember when uh, I was sitting there and I was like, ooh, and you were like, what? And I was like, what go here? That was funny. <laughs> she was playing the game last night. Oh, Rufflet. I love Rufflet, but I'm not going to use it because it evolves at level, like, 55. 50,000. 50,000, <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> Might as well be. But yeah, last night, Jubilee was playing the game, and she, I, like, wasn't looking at her screen. She was just like, ooh, and I was like, what is it? Did you, like, find a shiny? And she was like, Mukulheed! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, The you reason found that out, I reacted that way, though, because, like, earlier we were talking about Makuhita for some reason. 
We were? Yeah, you said something where you were like, I bet there's going to be a Makuhita there. Oh, something. yeah, because I was, I was like, oh, check out what Pokemon are on this route. It's probably going to have a lot of the same Pokemon as Sun and Moon, so it'll have, like, Makuhita and something else. Oh, Cottony, all right. That's sweet, why. we match up great against this. Nacho! Nacho! Thanks for helping me out with that. <laughs> Oh, glorious! A glorious one shot. I love it. What did she yeah. say? Move preferences? More preferences? Uh oh. Oh dear. What is in here? Is this the meadow? Oh, it is. Oh. What is this guy? Salute. Say, do you have any moves that can restore? I'd like to know more about it. Why don't you show me that you can defeat every trainer on Route 3 first? Okay, weird. Alright, well, let's go into the meadow. Uh, mele mele meadow. Okay, now we gotta rescue Nebby like we're, we do. Just As walking you will. across As one does. the flowers. Nebby, Nebby, come back! So, how does Halucha's, like, base stat total compare to other Pokemon? Is it, like, a fully oh, evolved Pokemon? Oh, you're watching. Oh, it's going into the secret entrance. Oh, well, that's nice. Wish I would have done that the first time, so I would have known that that was there. <laughs> it's important to know those things. What, what were you saying? Uh, what was I saying? About Halucha's base stat total? Oh, what does it compare to? Like, what is it like a fully evolved, like, three-stage Pokemon type of deal? Or, like... Is it not? Because it doesn't ever evolve. I think it's got an all right base stat total. Uh, probably somewhere in the 400s, I think, is my guess. I could've got a Whimsicott, but eh. Should I learn Aerial Ace? Yeah, I think that's stronger than Wing Attack. And even it if it's not- It is the same. But it'll never miss. But it will never miss. Is it the same as- yeah, okay, it's the same. It's I mean, you could also get rid of Roost if you don't think you'll ever use healing moves, but- no, sometimes that can be handy. I'd rather just get rid of the identical move that can miss. So wait, if I have a lowering, like, accuracy lowering move, it still won't miss? If I've been accuracy lowered. Yes, it. correct. If their evasion is up or your accuracy is down, Aerial Ace will still always hit. Okay. Yeah. Which is great. Wish I would have had a move like that when those Electrode were double teaming to Oblivion. Or that a Oh, Butterfree! What?! Ooh. Wait, there was Butterfree available early on in, in Sun and Moon. In the wild? Yeah. I mean, I know you could find Caterpie, was, but... No, there was Butterfree, uh, I want to say it was near the trainer school. Really? I, I know don't there was that. because there was... Oh, no, maybe I brought a Butterfree to the trainer school. And used it because I needed to get an item off of Magnemite or something. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Compound Eyes? Yeah, I needed sense. Compound Eyes. Never mind. I'm remembering that. Man, wrong. You get a lot of experience points from beating a Butterfree. Can I please find more? Oh, I also think mine are, mine's boosted because of Roto just Rotom just randomly activated some experience point power. Still confused as to how this whole Roto Lotto thing works. Roto Lotto, yeah, however I'm you say it. Yeah, I'm super confused on how that works because like Metapod. Yeah, he did the same thing for me at the exact same time, so that tells me that that's like triggered by that. Triggered. <laughs> so I don't think that I don't know. I guess it's always gonna be triggered by the story when that happens. I guess. But that seems really dumb and unnecessary. Why is it doing that? Why is that? I mean, I'm not gonna complain. The experience points it's are great. <laughs> anyways. You're more over leveled than I am. Poison barb. Just like because well. Yeah, how did I get so much more over level? You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Ever Chris? Would you mind having a battle with me? Sure, I could battle you. This is another teacher. I'm aspiring actress. You've been imitating the various styles of Oricorio and working on portraying different characters. So if you don't mind a little demonstration. <clears throat> Let me check. What? What did she just do? She just spun around? That was weird. Why'd you just spin around? But I thought her appearance was gonna change and then it didn't. Okay, so I, I bet I'm gonna find this chick in like every meadow across the, the region. Alucha needs to switch out because this is a no bueno matchup. Electric and flying type against a, f a fighting and flying type. Flying's good against fighting, electric's good against flying. No, it's good. 
I just use growl? Yeah. Why'd you just use growl? That's weird. Okay, uh guess I'll use Fire Fang. My attack's lowered, but I think it'll be fine. This earbud is like falling out of my ear a lot, so I'm gonna switch it. That's all that did? Man. Curse you for lowering my attack. Alright, let's try Ember. Probably do more, because it's not been halved in its power. <laughs> yeah. Rude! Alright! We get it! We beat we beat the Oricorio Jubilee! Mm -hmm. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Roar? Eh, nah, probably won't use that. You know what's crazy to me? Sun and Moon, even though it looks really nice, is still a, like... What is it called? Um... Standard definition. Pixel art. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just like the, the power of the 3DS is not good enough. No, I mean, I get it, but, like... You, like, there's not many, like... Pixel art games that look this good. I guess. We can they take a put a lot of effort into the pixel art. That's all I'm saying. I do not see anything to photograph, so screw this. Oh, you want to close the Pokefinder? Finder? Yes. All right. Let's see what else is in here. I saw an item over here. I want to take advantage of this uh, boosted experience points thing as long as possible. <laughs> Before we have to go, just walk in the cave and find Nebby. Nacha! I need to stop doing that so much. But it's so fun. <laughs> Wing attack! Hoo ya! Haluch is so cool. I'm really pumped you can get it so early on. Yeah, it's really cool that you can do that. All right. Let's get this item that's over here. Oh, is this your guy's? This, that's the girlfriend, right? He he he's looking for me. It makes me so hot. How can he not see you? <laughs> oh, I didn't even find her. It's proof of how much he loves me. Keep looking for me, baby. You're you're you're, you're a horrible girlfriend. You're very annoying seeming. Oh, that's the exit. Where was that one item I saw? Oh, it was down here. Okay. A great wall. Well, that's absolutely great! Alright, what's this next Pokemon gonna be? Another Metapod. More experience for evolved Pokemon! Wing attack. Go, Nacho! I love it. Temp grew to level 15. Good work, Temp. I'm proud of you. Where's the... It's so dark. Oh, here it is. Okay. An item? An escape rope? Alright, I can make a swift exit if necessary. Oh, whoa, it's cold in here. Oh, the cave's cold. That's interesting. Look, my... You can see my breath. That's cool. Yeah. Nebby! There you are! Alright, well... Send you back to Lily and start poking around in here. But oh my goodness! Oh, Zolte! Running around like this sure is tiring. Well, so the people below I'm eating places like this too, huh? Calm yourself, Zolte. Wait, this is, are those different names? They're different characters. They're exclusive. So I have oh. Dulce and Saucy, and you have Fico and Soliera or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Calm yourself. Zolte! There's only one thing we are here to confirm. We must find someone strong enough to protect the Blinding One. I really want to know what the Blinding One is. That's so exciting. Let us see if you might be the one. Alright, we're battling the Ultra Recon Squad for the first time. This is exciting. Dulce. That's awesome. Oh. Fur Fru. Furfru? I thought he was gonna have the little little poison ultra beast guy. Furfru and a beast ball. How did you possibly catch it? <laughs> <laughs> break break. Oh 
Oh, so close. Oh, it was a crit. It's all right, Nacho, you got this. Karate! Chop! Doesn't matter. <laughs> Barely any damage is necessary to KO. Super effective. Yeah! Oh, so close to level 16. Bumbaroni. Acid spray? What does that even do? 40? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess that's... Get rid of poison gas. I'm not really gonna use this Grimer, because I don't want repeat dark types, but... I... I don't understand. Uh, isn't that like your first Pokémon battle ever? So that is a Pokémon battle. Yes, it is! No wonder you freaking lost, dude! <laughs> we tried to investigate what it meant to battle with Pokémon, but it is quite different when you do it yourself. It seems that the Pokéball we tried to create has worked properly to capture us a Pokémon here in Alola. And I've seen for myself how strong you are, young Alolan trainer. So, Adults, what are we gonna do? Trainer, you should know that this one here warps away if it is threatened in any way. And the holes that are torn open as a result invite dangerous beings into this world. But perhaps things will be alright as long as there are trainers like you in Alola. Yeah, these actually seem like good guys so far. What about that girl, though? That girl should have nothing to do with our investigations, nor this Pokemon of hers, as long as no one is foolish enough to open a path that could lead her from Megalo Tower. Ooh. Ooh. Let us carry on. Zolte! I like their, like, you know, they're trying to do the Alola wave, and they're just like, this is how humans do <laughs> this, right? Rotom's effect wore off. Pooh. I like your pew because you use the jigglypuff. Pooh! <laughs> our... Who is ringing our doorbell at 7 p.m.? Maybe it's the mail. Maybe. They come pretty late. Sometimes. Alright, Haluch is healed. Right, I do want to check out what's in the cave, and then we'll probably finish up this episode. Form change? Oh, I should have read that dialogue. It looked important. <laughs> back in the bag, please, Nebby. She's nicer this time. She's not being like, get in the bag! It's like, please, bag, Nebby. There aren't Wait. many people around to see her, but that's hardly an excuse. I guess we should be going now. The press will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. You have been gone for a large portion of today. Oh, what? Oh, it's forcing me out of here? Hey, hey, hey Michael! Oh, and Lily's with you, too! What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial. Hey, Michael, I want to see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. All right, we're just going to end the episode after we battle Hal. <laughs> because clearly, I did not have an option in this. Yeah, yeah. I was sent out to Rowlet. What? That was weird. Different camera angle. Rowlet was just... That's kind of cool, though. Like, Rowlet was out of battle when he walked up, and he, like, didn't throw a Pokeball. Like, it was yeah, consistent. Yeah. All right. Wing attack. Hello, Josh! <laughs> Ah, uh, breaks my heart to KO or Rowlet. They're so cute. There. Aerial Ace! Oh, hey! You were just talking about that. I was. Same power as Wing Attack, but never misses. Less PP, but like... Sure, I'll get Wida. I actually think I'll get rid of Karate Chop. Karate Chop's weaker than both. Alright, Aerial Ace. Sweet. Noibat. Okay, we are weak to the flying, but I think it'll be fine. It is a Noibat. Aerial Ace. Oh, nice! I knew it'd be fine, see? Look at me go! <laughs> and what's the last one? Pikachu! Okay, this is a definite switch. Can you smell? Can you smell it, Jubilee? What can I smell right now? What? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I'm probably gonna get paralyzed because of this, but it also might one-shot, so it may not matter. We did it, fam! We beat it. We. I was about to say we beat it. How? <laughs> Received 240 bucks for winning. Woo! Yeah! yeah. See, so you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh, Michael? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. And I'm not stopping now. I'm gonna use this momentum to beat my old Gramps too. Yeah, there, Michael. No, I can count on you. Yeah. Thanks for tracking Lily down for me. Was this then how you finished your first trial too? Bet you used some style and moves. Show me your moves. <laughs> yeah, all thanks to Rowlet. Oh, it's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? If you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's kahuna. They can only island kahuna in battle is called the Grand Trial. That reminds me one time I was sleep talking uh senior year, my roommate and good friend Paul told me the next morning that I in my sleep said it's a it's a grand bird <laughs> <laughs> but anyways guys that is where we're gonna end this episode I think beginning of next one I'm gonna run over and uh, check out what's in the cave uh, see what Pokemon are there find some items and so on and so forth but thank you guys so much for watching thank you for Jubilee for uh, hanging out Hello. she'll probably be in the next episode too because I'm probably gonna record another one right after I'm this probably gonna keep sitting here yes indeed but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like answer the comment question down below and that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all!